welcome to my review of the Radium Engineering K-Series Fuel Rail for K20 and K24 engines. The fuel rail itself is made from 6063 aluminium, which is then CNC machined, anodized black, and then laser etched with the Radium logo. As you can see, this gives a very nice finish, which is also hard wearing. The rail features a 17mm centre bore, as well as 14mm injector ports. This means it's compatible with the standard injectors and a large range of aftermarket injectors. The ports at each end and in the centre are ORB8 ports, but more on this layer. The basic fuel rail comes with the rail, the mounting hardware and some thermal washers. Additionally, as an extra, there is available a fuel damper adapter to fit the original OEM fuel damper. This is ORB8 and so fits into all three of those ports. Radium Engineering also have their own fuel dampers available to fit this rail, as well as their own fuel pressure regulators which can be used to fit directly into the end of the rail. Because all of the main ports are ORB8, you can install any of the adapters into any of the main ports. This means you can customise the installation of the rail to fit your needs. Radium Engineering is a US based company, so I ordered this fuel rail from the UK distributor which is Sumo Power UK. If you want to purchase the rail from the UK, you will have to email or call Sumo Power as unfortunately the rail isn't available on the website. The main reason for buying this particular fuel rail is its compatibility with the OEM fuel damper. This is very important when running larger injectors as the damper dampens out the pulse of each injector. This in turn prevents cavitation which is air in the fuel system. Also, because all the main ports are ORB8, it gave me the opportunity to configure the rail differently if my original installation plan didn't work out. Also, using an Aeromotive ORB8 to ORB6 adapter, I'm able to install my current AEM fuel pressure regulator directly onto the end of the rail. This allows me to reduce the amount of sharp 90 degree bends I have running to and from the fuel pressure regulator. For my installation, I will be installing the OEM fuel damper into the center port. The Aeromotive ORB8 to ORB6 adapter with the fuel pressure regulator on the left hand side. And the feed will be installed on the right hand side using an AN6 to ORB8 adapter and a 45 degree AN6 fitting. To give you a comparison, here's the old installation. And now the new. As you can see with the new fuel rail installed, the installation is a lot more compact and a lot neater and it no longer runs over to the slam panel to mount the fuel pressure regulator. Installing the fuel rail was extremely easy, it bottled up just like OEM. There was one exception, but you may not run into the problem depending on if you're running the fuel damper or not and I'll go into that a little bit more in a second. When mounting the rail, you'll need to use the OEM fuel rail spacers. The thermal washers provided go under the hex head and help insulate the intake manifold from the fuel rail. One thing to take note of when removing the fuel rail is that there is no longer any clips connecting the fuel rail to the injectors. So when removing the rail, make sure you drain it first, otherwise you'll end up with fuel all over your intake manifold. The AEM fuel pressure regulator also clears the tensioner bracket, as well as the bonnet with the gauge attached. To secure the return pipe and hold the fuel pressure regulator in position, I've used a random clip that I had laying around. This keeps everything tidy. The only issue I had when installing the rail was the clearance between the fuel damper and the RBC intake manifold. This might not be a problem if you're using a PRA, but with the RBC it requires you to shave 
with the vault as you see in the image. In conclusion, I'm very happy with the quality of the rail, the ease of fitment and the attention to detail. So if you're in the market for a K-series fuel rail, the radium engineering is a very good choice. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you'll subscribe and like the video and stay around for some more.